overflows buddha's inner or gaze by the word buddha i mean the awakened ones not gautam the buddha whenever polarities meet opposites meet it is sex so sex is very wide a very spacious term it is not concerned only with reproduction reproduction is only one type of phenomena which is included in sex whatsoever happens in and around you comes within the field of cosmic sex both sex and life are synonym and living is the way to be and interact in life moment to moment tantra says that when the ultimate bliss and ecstasy comes inside you it means your own positive and negative poles or active and passive poles come to a meeting because every man is both man and woman and so is every woman you are born not only from man or woman you are born out of the meeting of the opposites in the form of ovum and sperm it is said that tantra is basically concerned with sex energy and sex center techniques but i see that tantra is all inclusive indeed majority of techniques in vigyan bhairav tantra seem to be non tantric the first thing is to understand what is sex energy as you and understand it it is just a part one part one fragment of the entire life force but as tantra understands it it is just synonymous with life it is not part not a fragment it is life itself so when tantra says sex energy it means life energy or what hindus what sanatan sanskriti calls as pranavayu or alan white alan white is a term coined by french philosopher henry bergson in his 1907 publication creative evolution he addresses the question of self organization and a spontaneous morphogenesis of things in an increasingly complex manner alan white was translated in english as vital impetus but it usually translated as vital force indeed it is hypothetical explanation for evolution and development of organisms organisms which bergson linked closely with consciousness the intuitive perception of experience and the flow of inner time the same is true about freudian concept of sex energy freud was also very much misunderstood in the west it appeared to people that he was reducing life to sex but if you understand tantra deeply you know that life and sex are synonymous it appeared to people that sigmund freud was reducing life to sex but he was doing the same thing that tantra has been doing for so 
long. Life is sex. The word sex is not confined to reproduction. The whole, <coughs> the whole play of life energy is sex. Reproduction is just a part of that play. Wherever two energies are meeting, negative and positive, sex has entered. This is cosmic creation symbolized by union of Shiva and Shakti, the union and merger of both energies within. <coughs> Therefore, it is difficult to understand by ordinary mind. For example, you are listening to me. If you ask Fried or if you ask Tantra masters, <coughs> they would say that listening is passive, feminine, and speaking is male. Speaking is penetration of you and you are receptive to it. Between the speaker and the listener, a sex act is happening because the speaker is trying to penetrate you in every possible manner from all directions and the listener is receiving. This is why when the listening is total as Nana calls and he has many bodies to explain the art of listening. This is something unique. The energy in the listener has become feminine and if the listener has not become feminine, there will be no phenomena or possibility of proper listening. And unless you allow the words to penetrate deep within you, these words will not transform you, will not take you to the deeper realms of your being. Energy in the listener has become feminine and if the listener has not become feminine, there will be no phenomena of listening or transformation. That is why the listener has to be totally passive. He or she should not think while listening because thinking will make him active. And he should not go on arguing with him because argument will make him active while listening. He should be simply listening, not doing anything else. Only then can the message penetrate and become illumined. But then the listener has become feminine. And that's where the process of transformation comes those who listen to these talks, Tao Overflows, or for that matter, any master with such femininity, then it is an act of sex. The master or the words are penetrating the person in all its passivity and out of this union of the words that carry the energy through the talking and the energy through which you allow these to absorb is indeed an act of sex, cosmic sex, and that is capable of transforming you. Communication happens only when one party has become male and the other party has become female. Otherwise, there can be no communication. Whenever negative and positive meet, sex has happened. The lighting of the bulb is an act of sex. 
it may be on the physical plane positive and negative energy electricity meets and sex has happened wherever polarities meet opposites meet it is sex so sex is a very wide a very spacious term it is not concerned only with reproduction reproduction is only one type of phenomenon which is included in sex tantra says that when the ultimate bliss or ecstasy comes inside you it means your own positive and negative poles have come to a meeting because every man is both male and female and so is a woman you are born not from man or woman but born out of the meeting of the opposites as ovum and sperm your father has contributed your mother has contributed you are half your mother and half your father and they both coexist within you when they meet within ecstasy happens buddha sitting under the bodhi tree is in a deep inner orgasm the inner forces have met this is the state of all the awakened ones they are in a state of inner cosmic orgasm <clears throat> the inner forces have met sometimes this happens to you in a, when your act of sex deepens you move from the physical layer to the deeper layers of emotions and then finally to the energy some sometimes unconsciously you experience this but when this happens consciously the life transforms inner forces have met they have melted into each other now there is no need to seek a woman outside because the meeting has happened with the inner woman and buddha is not non attached to or detached from the woman outside not because he is against a woman but because the ultimate phenomenon has happened with him the merger of inner man and inner woman now there is no need an inner circle has become whole now she it is complete that is why such grace comes to buddha's face and it is symbolic of what hindus call jyotirling symbol of cosmic creation this light no one is creating yet it is in a flowering now nothing is lacking a deep fulfillment has happened now there is no further journey he has achieved the ultimate destiny the inner forces have come to a meeting and now there is no conflict but it is sexual phenomena meditation is a sexual phenomena that is why tantra is said to be sex based sex oriented and all these 112 techniques are sexual enough for now